So in today's video, I'm going to tell you how my wife and I were able to purchase 28 rental units in 2022 alone. Keep watching. Now before we do get into how it was I did that, I think it's important to also start from the beginning. And that's for all of you that may not know where our journey began. In 2016, my wife and I purchased our first house, which we called Smoker's Paradise. The reason being, well, the walls were covered in nicotine stains, it had pink wallpaper, crazy flooring, and it was just stuck in the 1970s. But the great thing this property had was it had potential to have a basement apartment. So with zero investing experience and renovation experience, we decided to take on this big project. And with the help of family and friends, we actually got the entire basement apartment completed in less than six months. And the overall goal for that was to live in the basement apartment and rent out the upstairs and live for free, now coined house hacking. Now it's what we did after the renovations is what really took us to the next level. After about a year of living in the house we decided to get the house reappraised and luckily the appraisal went in our favor and we were able to pull out sixty thousand dollars of equity we bought the house for 182 thousand and it came appraised at 260 thousand so the bank let us borrow 80 percent of the difference so we took that sixty thousand dollars paid off some of the debt we had from the renovations and then we invested it into another property except this time we decided to partner with a good friend of ours we purchased another duplex except this one was for two hundred and sixty one thousand it was a simple 50-50 partnership and we put about $30,000 in renovations into that property and then you guessed it, we did the exact same thing. Except this time we did not have to wait a year, we actually only waited about three to four months and we were once again able to get it refinanced and get an appraisal that worked in our favor and this time we were able to pull out over $100,000. So we took that $100,000 then again reinvested it into more real estate. Again purchasing a duplex and did the exact same thing thing. Now this later became known as the Burr strategy or buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. And it's how you can really scale your real estate portfolio in a short period of time. But the most important thing is you have to buy properties at a discount. So you have to know the areas and you have to understand the numbers when it comes to particular properties. So in the course of just five years, my wife and I were able to build up a decently sized rental portfolio that consisted of duplexes, triplexes, and fourplexes. And that same strategy is the same strategy we use today. However, we just use it on a much bigger scale. Now we're purchasing six and 12 unit apartment buildings. But again, what's most important is understanding the area and getting properties at a discount. And we really scaled our portfolio in 2022. Well, Kind of, let's get into that. So during the course of the last five or six years, we amassed this rental portfolio in Ontario, Canada. And then as I'm sure a lot of you realize, the real estate market across Canada and really North America really ballooned to unimaginable levels. And when we saw this, we decided that this was our opportunity to capitalize on all the gains the real estate market has seen over the last few years by selling our entire rental portfolio and our primary residence in Ontario, Canada. And what we ended up doing was moving across across the country to Eastern Canada where we began investing in better deals that produced a heck of a lot more cash flow and a lot cheaper prices. So here's a perfect example of what we did. We sold a duplex for over $700,000. And then we rolled that money and we purchased a six unit building that produced $3,000 a month in cash flow. So we went from a duplex making $800 a month in cash flow to now a sixplex making $3,000. The best part is that sixplex only costed us 300K. And you wanna hear something even crazier? We sold a triplex for over 700K and we rolled the profits into a 12 unit building. All right, so that triplex back in Ontario was making, I would say about $1,500 a month in cash flow. Well, we traded that for a 12 unit building, which we paid $450,000 for, by the way, you guys wanna check out that building link right here, right here, it's somewhere. And that property right now, and we still have a ton more potential because we're renovating units, makes $3,000 a month cash flow. So just on two properties, we were able to take our cash flow from about 2,200 bucks and make it six thousand dollars and this is when we really understood the decision we made and it's what i tell a lot of real estate investors now especially those that are young don't be afraid to move into a new area just because you live in an area that at one time or recently had a good and strong real estate market doesn't necessarily mean that that real estate market is for you if i was just starting out today paying the prices in ontario there's no way I'd be able to scale my portfolio as quickly as I did. But by moving to other parts of the country, you have a lot 
lot more opportunities presented to you because they're a lot more affordable. So all we did was continue the same real estate investing model that we did in the last five years and we continued it to today. And we just continue to repeat that again and again and again. And our goal this year is to buy 100 rental units. So it's 100% possible to buy multiple rental properties with your own money in 2023. You just may have to adapt your strategy and where it is you're living or investing in. All right guys, so if you did not know, I recently wrote a book and it's now available on Amazon. It's called Your First House to Financial Freedom. And all it is, it's about 64 pages and it's about how I was able to purchase my first house that ended up leading to financial freedom. So if you guys are looking to diversify your wealth or looking to start investing in real estate, this is the book for you. It's 10 bucks, it's now available on Amazon. Link down below in the description. So I hope all of you can reach your real estate investing goals in 2023 and beyond. And quite honestly, there's a lot of opportunities presenting themselves right now in certain markets where if you're just getting started and looking to buy your first rental property, there probably hasn't been a better time in the last five or six years. So of course, make sure you guys understand real estate investing, understand the ins and outs of it. It's not as easy as what HGTV shows us, but it can be very rewarding for those who do it right. So hope you guys got value from today's video. If you did, I would greatly appreciate appreciate it. If you can give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and if you haven't already, you might as well subscribe to the channel. Now if you do want to learn more about real estate investing, stock market investing, and cryptocurrency investing, check out the videos in front of you. I'll see you there.